Running high up in the mountains around 2,500 metres above sea level, Rally Mexico leaves the cars and drivers feeling breathless. Why? Because at that height there is simply less air available. While the drivers can train and acclimatise for this, it does have a massive impact on the performance of the engines. So it all relies on the air-fuel mixture. Here's an engineer to spell out the physics. The fundamentals of running an engine is fuel and air. So if you have 20% less air, you need to add 20% less fuel, which is your overall power is down 20%. In order to compensate for our loss of uh, pressure at altitude, because we have turbocharged engines, we are able to spin up the turbo at a percentage more than we would at sea level. Normally, we'd be running within 150 to 160,000 RPM at full throttle, and in Mexico, we'd be running up to 170, 180,000 RPM. So running the turbo speed higher in Mexico and through different forms of mapping, we can reduce the loss, and it all makes a difference. The drivers themselves also play a massive part in counteracting the altitude problems by making sure that they are driving the cars as sympathetically as possible. It's very important to be smooth, basically. If you're scrubbing speed off the car, you don't have the power to recover and, and power to, to pull you out the corner, so it's important not to slide too much and, and be as neat as possible. You have to be really clean with your driving and, and uh, no no too much sliding and also really really clean and late braking so it's it's difficult to drive there it's the same for everyone so at the end uh, you have to adapt and uh, like we say every year maybe drive even smoother maybe try to keep even more speed in the corner than usually closer tougher breathtakingly real this is wrc plus sign up now